chosen for fourth place. And fourth place, there were going to be two young men who were lost boys, who you read about in your books. And they're going to actually come on this big projector, on this screen, and talk to all of you. So it's, it's a rare opportunity that you get to do this. So Mrs. Faraday and I are planning it for the end of May, on May 24th. And they're excited to talk to you and to thank you for your help. And our fun run will be before that. So at that point in time, we'll know how much money we actually raised for the well. So we'll be able to share that with these two gentlemen. Yes, Ellie? I knew, and I want to mention that too. You're, thank you for telling me. But I can't tell you how many days one of you will come up to me and say, my mother gave me money for snacks, but I don't want to buy any snacks. I want to put money in the jug for Sudan, and South Sudan. And I think that is just so admirable, and it speaks a lot about who we are as people, that we're always reaching out and helping others. Thank you. Um, but Mrs. Faraday, want to talk to you just a little bit about that. And then I think while she's got your attention, She's going to talk to you about the character dress-up day that's coming up, too. But while we're still on the subject of people giving money, Conservation Club members, thank you. I heard that you used some of your fundraising money, I think it was $150, to put towards that well as well. So thank you for that. So I just want to let you know that once we raised $1,000, we went into what they call the Iron Giraffe Challenge. And we were submitted along with 300 other schools. Um, first place winners, uh, Sal Paduk, who was the character in the book, uh, A Long Walk to Water, would meet with that school. Second place, there's a video call with him. Um, that three schools won that. Third place, three schools won a video call with uh, the author of the book, A Long Walk to Water. We, came, we won fourth place along with three other schools, and we're gonna video call two, they're men, but they were um, involved with the Lost Boys. And I think you all have read stories about the Lost Boys who were in South Sudan, and they will video conference with us. So out of 300 schools, we, we won, so that, that's great. Um, $1,800 towards the $3,000 to rehab a well in South Sudan. I'm going to collect all the jumps before vacation and Mrs. Estafio is going to take them to her bank to count up all the change and money and hopefully we'll get up, I, I, I'm assuming, over $2,000. So if you can skip a snack one day this week and put it into that jug in your classroom, that would be great. And then and then when we have our fun run, we'll raise, I'm sure we'll raise the rest of the money to help rehab that well in South Sudan. So that's a great thing. I'm so proud of all of you and all the donations and all the teachers that have donated their money. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.